Hello, everybody. Dr. Dr. Vaughn here, world famous bariatric uh, surgeon. This is just my quick COVID update. I will cut to the chase. It is bad. Numbers are high. Uh, peaks and valleys. Houston, uh, the United States is just on fire. We have surpassed 100,000 cases a day. We will get to 200,000 cases again. Um, this is due to the Delta variant. Louisiana is hot. It's a hot mess. Um, the Midwest, Florida is about to catch on, <laughs> it's about to go crazy, and Texas is not looking much better either. Now, I have this question, and I was having an online conversation with a friend of mine. He's like, if I'm vaccinated, why do I need to wear a mask? And I said, well, you know, um, it's extra protection, and the vaccines are, um, you know, we are having breakthrough cases. And he said, well, does that mean the way I think about that, it means that the vaccines aren't working. I said, no, they work. They work really well. They're in the studies, in the trials, the Moderna is 94% effective, which is crazy high. This is crazy high. The flu vaccination is only 50% effective. So 94% effective, it means there's 6% of possibility of getting a coronavirus. And, um, and of the six who got back who got coronavirus after being vaccinated um, none of them were hospitalized and none of them died so you really mitigated your disease process and um but the the confusion here for the average person is that well if i'm vaccinated am i not protected did you not hear me say 94 percent? and that was the studies but dr v there's this report from israel there's this and there's that and, well yeah fucker now we have these fucking variants. That's the problem. So we've let this thing rage out of control. You remember the Johnson & Johnson vaccination when it came out, the numbers were lower. So people were disappointed. It was like 86%, which is still effing high, right? It's still a B, right? And it's, it's but you have to remember, it, it happened to be tested um, in South Africa, where we have the South African variant, uh, variant Brazil and the Brazilian variant, and a New York and LA <laughs> in America, where you know there's like this New York and LA variant, which is minimal. So um, that had a lot to do with uh, their numbers. And now, you know, as we have more and more of these variants coming, um, yeah, you're going to see less efficacy. But one of the nice, amazing things about this technology, mRNA technology is once the, once the scientists get the variants decoded, they can, they can tweak, quickly tweak um, the mRNA uh, sequence that's in the vaccine and um, give us additional protection. We're calling that boosters, uh, but I'd like to call it more of a modification. Um, so, so in the studies, very large studies, by the way, forty thousand dollars in uh, forty thousand uh, people in each study, twenty thousand per arm. So that's a huge number of studies. But now we're talking millions of doses and millions of cases of coronavirus. Um, and so some of those those that zero percent won't stay zero percent. That ninety four percent won't stay ninety four percent as we as we have more variants. And that's the whole point. The whole point of getting vaccinated. So the average person will say, well, then Dr. Vaughn, why should I get vaccinated if they're not working? That's the fucking point. You need to get vaccinated as soon as possible so that we don't have these variants. So these vaccines do work. Like what is wrong with you? But, but, but why, but why should I still wear a mask? Cause there are people who aren't getting vaccinated. Who's allowing these variants to break through. So what we're seeing now is what's called breakthrough cases you know that original 94 percent will probably be less and less efficacious that's called nine that's you know called breakthrough cases and that zero percent of hospitalization found in the trials is now starting to be three percent only three 97 percent of the people that are in the hospitals are unvaccinated so in the trials, it went from 0% hospitalization to now 3% in the real world. This is called real world data. And the 0% deaths is now up to 0.5% deaths uh, currently of those currently hospitalized. And that number might get worse. 
it might get worse because there are people who we're still waiting for outcomes. This is called science. This is called data. But what happens is the average person goes, see, I told you it doesn't work. And I'll go, what the fuck is wrong with you? If that's how you think, if that's how you behave, then I know a lot about your life. I know you make certain decisions a certain way in life. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. I don't even fucking vote anymore. You know, you know there you go. Well, well, why am I listening to someone who doesn't vote? Well, if you really think your one vote matters, okay. I'm just going to be happy and take care of myself, take care of my family, you know, get vaccinated. That's a little bit more of a rant, but July 30th, be safe. Have an amazing day. Bye guys.